And uh, recently, just yesterday, he started working with his uh, left hand, which sounds even more rich. I could not play piano with, I can't play piano with one hand, I, I, I definitely couldn't do it with two. You're doing great, River. Let's hop into the pantry because what I want to uh, do in this video is talk about the, uh, the project that we've been working on in here for the past several days, which has been the, uh, the air exchanger, getting the holes through the wall. It went so, so well. I think I touched on that yesterday. I am so glad that I did it this way. I saved time. It was less work to do it myself because the amount of work it would have taken to prep the site for the, the pros to come in was more than the amount of work that it uh, took for me to do it myself. I saved money. I, I spent $350 on the tools to do it, but I would have spent $600 to pay them to do it. And now I have the tools uh, still around, so if I ever want to cut more holes, I can do it essentially for free. So th these are the two holes that we did. Uh, this one right here uh, goes out, and that's what pulls air in from outside. I've got a little cap on it for now. Uh, this hole right here uh, goes out into the, the greenhouse. I'll kind of set the camera up over here and just kind of explain how this is going to uh, all, all work together here. Let's see. Oh, is that going to be stable? Okay, hopefully, hopefully you guys don't fall over during the video. All right, so... Um, uh, this is the air exchange unit. We're going to be uh, hooking this in. The purpose of this thing is that um, you need fresh air uh, all year round, but it's specifically in the winter, you know, when you have your windows closed, you can get a lot of carbon dioxide building up from people breathing. And, you know, we've got the wood stove here, so, you know, uh, gas comes out of that occasionally if we open, open it up or whatnot. So, we want to get fresh air into the house. So, uh, the purpose of this is that this uh, kind of intermingles your, uh, your waste air with your fresh air, and it tries to extract the heat from the fresh air, uh, and it tries to extract the heat from the stale air, and put the heat into the fresh air as it comes in. It kind of, like, there's like kind of a manifold, and the fresh air is coming in, the hot air is going out, and it, it tries to transfer as much heat as it can from one side to the other. So we've got uh, fresh air coming into the unit right here, and that's why I lined that one up there. Stale air uh, getting blown uh, out of the house is going to come out of this thing, and it blows into the greenhouse, you know, so that'll kind of partially uh, warm the greenhouse. I mean, it's stale air, but who cares, you know, it's like the greenhouse is... Uh, leaky enough, so like it'll put some warmth into the greenhouse, but you know, plenty of fresh air is going to get into the greenhouse anyway. Uh, the uh, tubes that blow uh, into the house or draw from the house are on this side. Uh, this one up here, uh, this one is uh, the fresh air uh, that's blowing into the house. This is going to come out probably, um, probably do like an, a 45 degree angle here because whenever you can uh, not do a 90 degree angle, that's better. You get less uh, air resistance uh, going through. So we'll probably do like a 45 out of here and then a 45, and it'll bang uh, again into the, the kitchen over there. So that's where the fresh air is going to blow in, blow into the kitchen. Uh, and the stale air is coming from all the way up on the third floor in the storage room. That's the hottest area in the summer, so if we want to uh, run this thing at night to get cool nighttime air in, we'll be grabbing the hottest air uh, from the house that you don't want in the summertime, uh, sucking it down uh, through a uh, little pipe over here, and it's going to come around, do a 90 degrees here, another 45 degrees here, and then 90 degrees into the unit. So this will just kind of tuck right back over there. Uh, and that should do a pretty good job at, uh, you know, keeping it so the house has plenty of fresh air, because that's really, it is a really important thing. Last winter, I was uh, watching our CO2 levels. I've got a little meter that can read that. And last winter, you know, we had to open the windows occasionally to just let in some fresh air. So this is going to uh, serve essentially the same function, but instead of just uh, dumping all of your hot air, this is going to try to extract as much of that warmth out of the air before we ultimately blow it out. And like I said, even when we blow it out, it's going into the greenhouse. So we're warming the greenhouse, so that'll kind of help to keep the house a little bit warmer. And, uh, you know, it, the chickens are in that greenhouse too, so it'll be kind of good for them. I'm super happy that I did this by myself, uh, better in every single regard, um, and I'm excited to start getting this unit together. Uh, the only other thing that I'm excited about is uh, the fact that I got this place uh, cleaned up. It was so dirty in here, even with the drop cloth, it was so dirty. Here's an example right here I just noticed. Uh, this is the side of the peas I was able to vacuum, and <laughs> it's uh, it was pretty dusty in here, and I think we're going to be cleaning this place up for, for months, but I got, you know, basically the whole floor is all clean.